He has seen the Winter Olympics from a perspective that most of us can only dream about. KWQC's Fran Riley reports that this Quad City man earned his medals both on and off the track. I'm one of the few. The national bobsled championship in the four-man is a brakeman, and then I was a skeleton national championship. So I won that. Dave Juring and bobsled, a perfect match. Dave was a national champ at Lake Placid. It's very exciting to go in. Closing ceremonies is also very exciting. And he also knows what it's like to experience the thrill of taking part in the Olympic Games. 1994 at Lillehammer, Dave was an assistant driving coach for the American bobsled team. My job was to, to be the eyes on the track for the drivers to give them feedback of what was going on and seeing how their sleds responded. To, as he says, read the ice. Being able to read what's the most important curve to set up all the other curves. This is what we wore into the games and this is what we wore during closing ceremonies. The ceremony coat Dave wore at Nagano in 1998 when he was a team leader. Dave acquired several of these trading pins when he was a bobsled team leader at the 2002 Salt Lake City Games. They're really a, a big collector's item and that's why this is a complete, um, complete U.S. squad pin collection from 98 and 2002. This is one of Dave's favorite items, the ring he received at the 2002 Salt Lake City Games when the bobsled teams brought home gold, silver, and bronze. 2002, Jill Bakken and Vonetta Flowers hit speeds of 80 miles an hour to bring home the gold. The capacity crowd roared. I remember distinctly uh, when Vanetta and uh, Jill Bakken came across the finish line and they won the gold medal because I was the first guy there. The USA men won silver and bronze at Salt Lake City, memories which Dave Juring will cherish. This year he'll keep an eye on the track from the comfort of home, a self-acknowledged bobsled junkie. I love getting into it. I want to see, see our teams do really well. And who knows, he might even wear the Olympic sweater he got at Lillehammer 20 years ago. And it still fits. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fortunately, it still fits. <laughs> <laughs> and I guess if you're pushing a sled at those speeds, yeah. you probably do have to be in pretty good shape. Yeah, you know, so. definitely. But what a neat story. I mean, you think about the fact that they are, you know, making pinpoint turns at like 90 miles an mm -hmm. hour in a bobsled, you know, it's it's pretty demanding, Eric Maitland. Yeah, well, it's funny because I've seen so much of the skeleton and the, uh, uh, the luge so far this winter time. Looking at the bobsled, it just looks like a semi truck going down that track. It's so big. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. it's still fast. Oh, yeah. Now, how did Dave get involved? Obviously, it's in his blood. How did he get involved? Well, he was a shot putter and a discus thrower in college at okay. Iowa State, and he was a great track star at Davenport West. And, you know, he ran into people along the way who said, you could do this, you could you could get into bobsledding, and he decided to give it a try, and he liked it, and the rest is history. Yeah, you know, kept and on doing it. Kept on doing it. And we, Eric and I were talking just a minute ago about the fact that it'll be interesting this week to see Lolo Jones, who is a track star, yeah. see how she does in bobsled, because she made the team, and that'll be a little bit later this week on our coverage from Sochi. Yeah. Well, that jump start, that's what it's all <laughs> it's about. Very important. Yeah. yeah, boy, you know, it's, it's one thing to be part of history, but he is so firmly entrenched in Olympic history because yeah. of all the positions he's held and all the, the Olympics that he's attended. Uh, but the stories he must have are probably amazing. And yeah. that start has nothing to do with jumper cables. None of that. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe we should all get bumpers or bobsleds. Huh? All right. Thank you, Fran, for another great story. If you'd like to see today's story or submit a story idea to Fran, just head to our website and look for Fran Riley Fee. Cheers.